This one will be fairly quick because it's going to be similar to the last example. Okay, it looks like this this time. And same stop sign. And just different angles. So this will be 25 degrees right here. This is a roof that they're attached to. This is 25 degrees right here. And this one here is, for the sake of argument, 55 degrees. And obviously this one hanging down is vertical. Okay, 90 degrees. So it's going to be the same thing. We'll go with the same mass of the sine right here. So M of this guy is equal to 5.5 kilograms. And it's asking, what is T1 and what's T2? So here's T1, here's T2. So what is T1 and T2? <coughs> Some of you can work off this to make a free body diagram if you're comfortable. Great. But if you're not comfortable, then just do like I do and make a free body diagram for each one. Okay. So for my free, bo free body diagram, I'm just going to do like we did before. Just one up here, one over here, and one down here. And I'll label them. This one, I call it the weight. This one, T2. And this one, T1. Angles, same as before. Just do a bit of geometry. This is 25 degrees. This one is 55 degrees. And then this one obviously is vertical. So there's the FDD, free body diagram. And then from that, you make your vector closed triangle. Sum of forces equals zero. Yeah. Looking okay? Okay. So you want to try and make sure that it all works out fine. If you're not sure how to construct it, you don't want to start with T1. You could start with the one known for sure. Vertically hanging down is the weight. Absolutely. So I could start with my weight vector. And then from that, add my T1 to it and my T2. Whichever way you want to do it. I'll just make it a little bit bigger so we've got more visibility. So there's my weight vector. From the bottom of the weight vector, I'm going to add T1 to it. So T1 is going to come up at 55 degrees, something like that. And I don't quite know where it's going to end yet, but it's coming up that direction at 55 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Here's the 55 degrees. And this one will end somewhere around here so that I can construct another one coming up at 25 degrees to come to here. So I just have to extend it a little bit longer to here so that it looks like I'm drawing one up here at 25 degrees to finish off the triangle. Twenty-five degrees. Fifty-five. If this is 55, that's got to be 55. 
if that's 55 and this one's 55 and this one's 25, what's this entire angle here? 80. Nice. If that's 55 here and this is vertical, what's this? 35. 55 plus blah equals 90. 35, 35 yeah. Now you can't say, oh, okay, well this one's 35, this one's 80, this one's 35, or 80. You don't know what it is. Yeah. So you just have to go 180 minus 80 minus 35. That's this one. So what is the upper angle here? 65. Okay. So 35. Is it 55 or 65? 180 minus 80 is 100 minus 35. You got it. Just like you said. 65 degrees. So we got our vector triangle. We have one side again, and we just have to use sine law again to find out what T1 and T2 are. So to label them, T1 we need to find, T2 we need to find. We've got all the geometry we need, and just use sine law and cosine law again. So I'll label it again conveniently. Angle C. I'll call right here. Side C, angle A, side A, and angle B, side B. And again, it's just sine A over A equals sine C over C and sine B over side B equals sine C over side C. And just put them in and crank them out just like you did last time. The weight of the sign was 55, 5.5 times 9.8. Sorry. C. Can I just crank them up? We should agree with the answer that's the same for all of us. So 31.4. And T1? 49.6. 49.6. Yeah. Everyone agree? Okay, you're one ahead of me. Okay, great. Perfect. Thanks, Nick.